subtraction property of equality. Next, since we are just looking for y at negative pa yan, so we are going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So multiplying negative y by negative 1 and also in multiply din natin to by negative 1. So that gives us an answer equal to negative times negative is positive. So this is y equals to 3x minus 4. Okay? Now look at this equation. This is under a uh, under the polynomial function. And since polynomial yan, walang restriction ng para sa domain mo. Hence, therefore, therefore, the domain of this function right here is equal to um, x such that x is an element of the real numbers. Okay? Here's the catch. Sa lahat ng polynomial functions mo, laging ang domain mo ay real numbers kasi walang values na ang makakapag-undefine sa given na equation. Now, let us solve for the value of the range. Paano naman ngayon hahanapin yung range? Nabalik na lang lang ito. So, since sa domain, we solve for y in terms of x, so, para sa range naman, okay, so, to find the range, we have to solve for x, alright, solve for x in terms of y. So, bakit pa rin natin yung given na equation? Okay? So, let's have, we have 3x minus y equals to 4. So, eto ngayon, ang ililipat natin sa kabila ay yung y. So, you have 3x is equal to y plus 4 and this is because of APE, addition property of equality. Now, since kailangan natin isolve yung x at meron pa tayong, um, meron pa tayong coefficient ng x dito which is 3, so we have to divide both sides by 3 by applying the multiplication property of equality. Divided by 3. Hence, therefore, you have x is equal to the coefficient of y right here is 1. Pag walang nakikita, 1 na automatically yun. So this is 1 over 3 y plus 4 over 3. Okay? Now, notice that even if you have a fraction na coefficient, this is still a polynomial. Kasi, yung variable mo ay nasa, uh, consider pa rin yan na nasa numerator. Wala sa sa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, polynomial pa rin to. And since polynomial siya, okay, since polynomial siya, wala rin restrictions ang range mo. Therefore, your range is equal to y such that y is also an element of the real numbers. And that's it for example number 1. Okay, so for example number 2, you have y is equal to x squared minus 4. So if we're going to find the domain, di ba nga solve for y in terms of x? Kung mapapansin nyo, nandito na yung y, isolated na siya. And yung given na equation natin is x squared minus 4. So this is still under polynomial function. So ibig sabihin, we can already conclude that the domain for this uh, function right here, so the domain is equal to x such that x is an element of the real numbers. Now, ang gagawin na lang natin ay isosolve natin yung para naman sa range. So let us now solve for the range. Paano nga ba ulit sinosolve yung para sa range? This time, we are going to solve this function right here sa solve for x in terms of y. So, you have y equals to x squared minus 4. So, syempre, kailangan natin ilipat yung negative 4 dito. So, this will become y plus 4 equals to x squared. This is because of the addition property of equality. Next, ang kailangan natin ay x lang, ay x squared to. So, to be able to cancel this one out, to be able to get the value of x alone, we have to extract the square root. And that gives us x equals to the square root of y plus 4. So, ito na yung equation ng x. Ngayon, ang problema, meron na tayong presence ng radical symbol. So, ibig sabihin, this is an example of a um, square root function. Okay. Now, pag ganyan, for the value of x to be real, kailangan yung value na nandito sa radical ay either 0 or positive. So, that means, okay, kapag pupunin mo yung value nun, yung mga possible values lang ng y na pwede dito, okay, so that, eto, pag ganito yung na-encounter mo, para masolve mo, para malaman mo kung ano yung pwede maging values ng y, ganito lang yung gagawin mo. Get the radical right here, so this is y plus 4, and again, para maging real yung value ng x mo, it should be 
greater than or equal to 0. Pwede yung 0 or mas mataas kaysa sa 0 para maging real number yung root niya dito. So, let us find the value of y that will make it uh, para, para masatisfy itong condition na to. So, transpose yan, yung for to the other side. So, that gives us y greater than or equal to negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang value lang na pwede natin, ay hindi, yung magiging sagot mo, yung range mo dito, so the range here is at y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, bakit ganyan? Bakit greater than or equal lang dapat sa 0? Kasi, kapag nagkaroon ka na ng negative na number dito sa loob ng radical symbol mo, magiging imaginary na yung sagot mo. So, we are avoiding that, um, event. Okay? So, kaya greater than or equal to zero. Ayan, as limpad lang para mamit mo yung pwede ng y at yun na rin yung magiging range mo. This happens every time you deal with yung square root function. Okay? So, ayan na. Ito yung gamay natin. Ito, ito mismo. Kaya set of real numbers then you have a restriction for your uh, range. Alright, so let's have example number 3. You have 3x minus xy equals to 2. So, let us solve for the <laughs> let us solve for the domain. Okay, so you have again, for the domain solve for y in terms of x. Okay, so you have okay, so you have 3x minus xy equals to 2. Solve for y. So, ito naman yung may katabing y. So, ibig sabihin na yung ilipat natin sa kabila yung 3x. So, you have negative xy equals to negative 3x plus 2. This is because of the subtraction property of equality. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin ay y lang. So, ibig sabihin, um, itinibar natin both sides by negative x kasi may negative x pa pa dito eh. So, divided by negative x, divided by negative x. This will be cancelled out, equal to 1. So, y is equal to negative negative, so positive na. And my x ka din dito. So, this is, um, let's have, so that is 3x. Na, gawin na lang natin, isimplify natin in terms of, in terms of the, the operation. So, you have 3x minus 2 over x. Okay? Kasi negative negative, positive positive negative, kaya negative. Okay? So, para sa yung magiging sagot niya. Now, this is your equation for y. And kung mapapansin nyo, hindi na ito isang polynomial kasi meron na tayong variable dito sa denominator. May variable ka na na x. Ibig sabihin, meron ng restriction this time. Hindi lahat ng values pwede para sa x. Kasi kapag fraction, kung maalala ninyo, bawal magkaroon ng zero na denominator kasi magiging undefined ang, um, ang tawag dito, magiging undefined yung equation mo. So, ibig sabihin, okay, ibig sabihin, dito, may since may restriction nga siya, lalagyan natin, ibig sabihin, your range, ito, since x cannot be equal to 0, so therefore, the domain of this function is x such that x is not equal to 0. Ganun lang kabilis. Okay, so let us now find the value of the range. Okay, so again, to find the value of the range, we have to solve for x in terms of y. Same equation. So you have, again, you have 3x minus xy equals to 2. Di ba may parehas na x dito? So ibig sabihin, we can factor this one out. So this will be x times 3 minus y equals to 2. Next, pagkatapos nito, divide na lang natin both sides by 3 minus y kasi x lang naman yung kailangan natin dito. So, divided by 3 minus y, divided by 3 minus y. I'm sorry. 3 minus. Okay. So, makakasal natin to. Therefore, you have x equals to 2 over 3 minus y. Again, this is not a polynomial. Meron ka na namang equation dito sa denominator. So, this uh, belongs to a rational function. Ibig sabihin, meron restriction ang um, yung magiging range mo. So, since you have 3 minus y, at yun na nga, kapag fraction, di ba bawal maging 0 yan? Ibig sabihin, we can equate this denominator right here, get the denominator. So, 3 minus y should not be equal to 0. Bawal maging 0. O, kapag fraction, ganyan yung equation mo. Iba siya dun sa uh, square root na function. Okay? So, lipat lang natin sa kabila, yung 3. So, you 
yan, negative y is not equal to negative 3. However, negative pa yan. So, multiply lang natin. Patali lang yun. Negative 1. So, you have y should not be equal to positive 3. Ibig sabihin plus, value of the range is equal to y such that y is not equal to 3. Ayan. Okay, so for example number 4, you have y is equal to the square root of 5 minus 2x. So, this is already, um, this is already solved so, sa so y in terms of x. So, ang kailangan na natin gawin ngayon ay kunin natin yung mga posible na yung values ng x kasi nga may restriction siya given na nasa loob siya ng radical symbol. Again, para mag-degree yun yung sagot dito sa y kailangan, eto ang equation na to ay uh, greater than or equal to 0. So, let us equate that one. Okay, so you have 5 minus 2x greater than or equal to 0. Ililipat lang natin sa kapila yung 5. So, you have negative 2x greater than or equal to negative 5. This is because of subtraction property of equality. So, i-divide na natin ngayon both sides ng negative 2. So, divided by negative 2, negative 2, cancel this one out. So, x. This one, negative, negative, magiging positive na siya. However, since nag-divide tayo ng both sides by a negative number, Itong um, inequality symbol na ito ay magbabago. Yun yung rule. Kapag ka nagmumultiply ka na negative or nag-divide ka ng negative both sides. Itong symbol na ito ay magbabago. So from greater than, it will now be less than. Tapos may equal to pa rin. Yung ito lang, yung inequality symbol lang. So ibig sabihin, the values of your domain, okay, ay restricted lamang such that x, yan, the domain is equal to x such that x, okay, should be less than or equal to 5 over 2. So, yan ha? Domain mo. Now, let us find the range. Okay? So, for the range, alam niyo na, isolve natin ito in terms of x. Kaso, nandito sa loob yung x mo, nandito sa loob na radical symbol mo. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yun? Para matanggal natin yan dyan, we have to do the reverse process. So, we get, we have to get the square of both sides. So, this is equal to y squared. Pangakansan to, so this is 5 minus 2x na lang. And then solve for x. So, lipat sa kabila, we have y squared minus uh, 5 equal to negative 2x. And that is because of subtraction property of equality. And then right after that, all you have to do next is to divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So, for this case, it's negative 2. So, divide everything by negative 2. Therefore, your x is equal to uh, y squared minus 5 over negative 2. But if you're going to simplify that one, this is equal to x uh, equals to y, uh, negative 1 half y squared plus 5 over 2. Ayan? Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, yung x natin is a polynomial uh, equation. Ibig sabihin y can be any real number. However, ito yung catch. Kasi nag-restrict tayo eh. Nag dito, dito sa defining na ano, dito, yung posible na mga i-list value nito ay 0 lang, ba So, ibig sabihin, yung y mo, yung range mo dito, instead na uh, instead na set of real numbers, it's just restricted to, since yung last number, yung last na posible na mag sagot dito ay 0, ibig sabihin, yung value ng y, dito pa rin tayo kasi magbe-basis sa original, okay? So, the value of y, Therefore, is greater than or equal to 0 lang. Kasi pag naging 0 to, pag naging 0 to dito sa radical mo, getting the square of 0 is 0. That is why, yung least value ng y mo para sa h ay 0 lang din, tapos mas mataas na sa kanya. Okay? Alright, so just to give you an additional example, o ihahabo lang natin, para mas makuha nyo talaga agad-agad kung paano nga ba kinukuha yung domain at range ng isang um, ganito, square root function, kapag merong radical, paano nga ba nangyayari? Mabilis na, actually. Ang kailangan lang gawin dito is that, syempre, alam na natin na, since nasa loob ng radical symbol tong equation na to, si x, ibig sabihin, there is a restriction for the values dito sa x. Hindi lahat pwedeng gamitin para sa values sa x. Remember, para maging um, real number yung sagot mo sa y, kailangan, this equation right here, the, the radical should be equal to 0 or greater than 0. So, all we have to do when dealing with this kind of function is that you have to get the, the value of x that will make this equal to 0 or greater than that. Okay? Kaya napakadali lang. Kukunin mo lang yan. So, since na, naka-solve naman yan in terms of y. So, we can already solve for the domain. Okay? So, the domain 
We have copy mo lang yan so that is x plus 3 again. Iset mo lang agad na greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Kasi nga, square root of the up. Ito yung rule na sinusunod ng domain para sa isang uh, radical na expression or equation. Okay? So let us just um, transpose three to the other side. So you have x is greater than or equal to um, negative 3. This will already be your restriction for the domain. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka na pwede maglagay na mas mababa pa kay sa kay 3, negative 3 dito sa equation mo. Otherwise, magiging imaginary na yung sagot mo dito sa function mo. Okay? So therefore, the domain of this function is equal to x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Pag nakuha mo na yung domain, mapilis na lang ang range. Ang range kasi ng mga ganitong function, automatic na kasi nga, since nag-restrict tayo dito sa domain, kahit pa ang kakalabasan nito, pag in-express natin siya as x, we solve for x in terms of y. Di ba magiging, ano yan, magiging isang polynomial. Okay? However, kahit regardless kung ano man ang magiging sagot nun, yung magiging equation, yung range, okay, yung range ng ganitong class and function, eto na automatically, eto na agad. Okay? Wala nang, wala nang, ano ba, umaga, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa, eto na agad yun. Okay? So, you have, y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. Ito agad yung magiging range nito. Bakit? Kasi nga, since nag-restrain tayo dito sa, sa domain mo, that x should be greater than or equal to negative 3. Eh, di ba? Pagka, pagka, ano ako dito? Pagka yung negative 3, sinasitude natin dito sa radical. Di ba? Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Next. Siyempre, mas matasa sa kanya. So, negative 2 plus 3 is already 1. So, ibig sabihin, the, the values for your range, the output, okay, whenever your input is greater than or equal to negative, it will always be greater than or equal to 0. Okay? So, ganun lang kabilis kapag nag-deal tayo sa square root function. Once na nakuha mo na yung domain, domain lang yung kailangan mo isolve actually. Yung range automatic na ito na yun, agad. Okay?